This is my brand new Baofeng BFF8 HP, and they call it Gen 3. It's their latest dual band handheld ham radio. And I'm here today with Don, N2 VGU, right? Thanks for coming, Don. My pleasure. Last time we were together, we shot a video where we tested my Baofeng UV5R, and it failed. The harmonics were out of spec. Considerably. So I bought this one. It's Gen 3, it's their latest version. This one has eight watts. So today, we're gonna put it on the Spectrum Analyzer, and we're gonna see if the latest Gen 3 Baofeng passes. What do you think? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. You also brought some radios as well, right? I did, I bought a Wolksun and a uh, Kenwood. Excellent. Well, we'll try all of them, and we'll show you the results. This should be fun. Let's get going. So I bought the new Baofeng with my own money, and it's almost three times as expensive as the UV5R. It has eight watts instead of five. It seems to be slightly bigger, but maybe not. Maybe it's the same size. Can you tell, Don? What do you think? I'd say it's pretty close. It does have a bigger battery, uh, an extended battery pack, so I expect to get more life from it. There's some minor cosmetic differences as well between the two, and the new BF F8 comes with a bigger rubber duck antenna. This is the stock antenna that comes with it. So I'm expecting different results, hopefully. I mean, it has more power. They had to make changes to the inside. So maybe it'll pass. I got my fingers crossed. Uh, why don't you go ahead and put in the comments whether you think the new radio will pass or not. If you didn't watch the previous video, uh, you can go back and watch it now. I'll put a link in the description of this video. You can watch that one. But what Don brings to the table is first of all expertise. You're an engineer, right? I am RF and microwave engineer for almost 50 years. So you know your stuff when it comes to RF. I like to think I do. And how long have you been a ham? Uh, since 1975. 1975, so a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge about RF, and he brought his spectrum analyzer, which we'll use to hook the radios up to, and then we'll analyze to see if there's any spurious emissions and measure their harmonics to make sure they're within, what's the FCC spec? Um, minus 16 dBm for a radio at this power level. Okay, and under 25 microwatts. Well, that is 16 dBm. Minus 16 dBm, yep. Yeah, you explained that in the last video, right. the difference. All right, so see, I learned something. Okay, Don, so you've got your spectrum analyzer. What's on this side? Uh, this is a, an attenuator, which will bring the power level of the radio down to a level that the input of the spectrum analyzer can handle. Uh, you can't put five watts right into here. You'll damage the front end. Okay, and then on the spectrum analyzer, what are we looking at on the screen and, and what do we expect to see and how are we going to know if it passes or fails? Well, what we're looking at is the uh, frequency spectrum between 100 and 1500 megahertz. Um, uh, the power level at the top will be what, what the transmit power of the radio is. Uh, this green line here is a display line at minus 16 dBm, which will be the limit for the uh, harmonics. Uh, anything above that will, will not pass. Anything below will be passing. Okay. So we're setting the frequency to 146.520, and we've got it set to high power, which is now eight watts. Now, would it be minus 16 dB if we're at eight watts? It's minus 16, it's, it's still minus 16 dBm, under uh, up, up to 25 watts. Ah. Okay, so it's not relative to the power level, that's an absolute. Above that, it is relative to the power level. Understood. We got a fail, and pretty significantly. Right. On both the first and the second harmonic, and the, and the third. The third is very close, yeah. The fourth and fifth are under, but... Yeah. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> wanna try, wanna try the medium power, which should be around five watts? Uh, sure. Let's give that a go. All right, Don, so we set the radio to five watts, the medium power setting. Does it, does it, is it giving off five watts? It's just a little under 36.65, 4.8, something like that. It's pretty close. Pretty it's close. It's not gonna be exact. 
And we've got again the first, second harmonic are both over the acceptable level. It looks like it. This is on uh, how much power is there now at the low power setting? Uh, 30.7, so it's a little over a watt. 1.2, 1.5 watts. Okay, and we can see the primary there. There's the first harmonic and that's over. And the second is is right on right the, on right the on, line. Yeah, so, so it could or it may or may not be. There's this there's some accuracy considerations. So this radio is going back. Very disappointed in Gen 3 Baofeng. So we set the radio frequency to 446.0, which is the national UHF calling frequency. And we set the power back to high, 8 watts. And Don's just making his adjustments. And it looks like the third harmonic is marginal. The second is passing. So UHF, this radio passes, although we can't see a third and fourth because of the limitations of the scope. Right, the, the top frequency of this unit is one and a half gigahertz, which it, it's, it's too low for the, for the third harmonic. Yeah. High power UHF, I would say pass. Yeah, I'd say it's acceptable. All right, cool. This one is duplex receive. The TDR tool, true dual receive. But can you can you duplex like satellite? Full I, I don't do I, it. won't do cross band. I don't think. Right. Yeah. Okay. So Don, you brought your walks on. What model is that? Uh, KG UVD one P. UDV one P, and it's a dual band. It is. Do you roughly do you remember how much it costs? It's about a hundred bucks. Uh, right around a hundred dollars. Plus or minus, yeah. Plus or minus. And what are we going to be doing? Are we going to be doing uh, UHF, VHF, both? Um, high power. We're we can do. We're going to do high high power um, VHF first, and then UHF. If that works for you. Perfect. And have you used this on the air? I have. Do you like it? Yeah, it's fine. It actually looks. I mean, when we compare the size, it looks smaller. Or roughly the same size as the Baofeng. Right. Yeah. One nice thing I noticed is that you can have it read out alphanumeric characters on the display instead of just the frequency. Oh, that is nice. It's kind of nice when you're you're scanning around to different memories. Very cool. All right. Well, let's test it. Okay. So here's the results with the walks on the KG UVD1P. UVD1P. And again, it's about a hundred dollar radio. And you can see the primary, which is right at five, four to five. Four and five watts. Between four and five watts. And there's no harmonics, or the harmonics are into the noise or just above the noise, but uh, nothing like the Baofeng that had multiple out of spec harmonics. So this is a pass, really well done. Mm -hmm. This is UHF, so 446, 5 watts of power, and you can see a second harmonic there, but it's well within spec. Right. Yeah. So the Waxon is a pass all around. Very yeah. nice. That might have to be my go-to uh, inexpensive handheld. I like mine. So now we're going to test my TYT MD380. This is an analog and digital radio, and we're going to test it in high power, which should be around five watts uh, on the 440 band. It's UHF only. Um, it doesn't cover VHF at all. So we'll give it a test, see if it complies. Uh, the harmonics are well within spec. Well within spec. And, and we're in analog mode and digital mode. We really probably couldn't test or it's a little tougher to test. Uh, digital mode uh, pulses on and off. So it's, it's you, you, have, you have to sweep many times to be sure of getting both the, the fundamental and the harmonic while the thing was sweeping. It, it, it sweeps along and if the, the signal is not at that frequency at that time, you'll miss it. Understood. All right, so we got Don's Baofeng UV5R. It's a plain 5R, not a V2 like mine was, the one that failed. And we're gonna test it on 146.52 high power? Right. All right, let's give that a try. Do they call that second? I thought the first harmonic was the first harmonic. No, the first the harmonic is, is the, the fundamental. Primary. Dang it, I misspoke. Well, that's all right. Yeah, I'm, I just pretend to be an expert on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so uh, your Baofeng, primary five watts, 30, what is it? 30? 36 and a half. Roughly. Close enough. Second and third harmonic are both out. Fourth harmonic is right on the line. Right. Yeah. So yours doesn't pass either. Right. We're that, that's kind of expected. A lot of it. It, it has a reputation for that. Right. Uh, this is my uh, Kenwood THF6A 
tri-band receiver, uh, transceiver. They're still making it today? They're still selling them. What, do you know what it costs, roughly? When I bought it, it was three, four hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Less now, I bet. Uh, I think it's held this price pretty good. So, five watts, UHF, VHF, and uh, 220? 220. Yeah, so let's try the, uh, let's try VHF, okay. 146.52 at high power. Right. It looks clean. There's no harmonics uh, visible above the noise level. And the power output? A little over four watts, which is about what I expect. Yeah, so not quite the rated five, but close enough, but a really clean signal. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. You want to try UHF? Sure. All right. So on 446, high power, what do we got? Right around four watts again? Right around four watts. The uh, second harmonic is visible, but it's uh, probably seven, eight dB uh, within spec. Well below the green line. Yep. Perfect. Yes, it that's, is. That's a lot of testing. Let's do a recap. All right, Don, so uh, you came back, you brought your spectrum analyzer back for another video. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Uh, we tested a number of different radios, but most importantly, my brand new Baofeng BF F8 HP, and it failed. Pretty, pretty badly. Yeah, almost identical to the two UV5Rs that we tested. We tested Don's older UV5R and my slightly newer UV5R V2 Plus, and they both failed as well. So if you're looking for an inexpensive radio, uh, we've got two that are right around $100. I think the this is my TYT MD380, which is UHF only, but it's analog and digital. It does DMR. This one passed. Right. And your walks on. Right. And your walks on is a dual band? It is a dual band. And that one passed as well. It had did. nice results. Right. And the two Kenwoods passed with very little harmonics. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, you know, if you have a suggestion, if there's a radio you'd like me to test next because the Baofeng is going to go back, uh, I'm going to send it back and see what I can get next. Uh, if there's a sub $100 radio that you think might pass, I'd be happy to, to give it a go. And I know, Don, I think you'd bring your stuff over. Be glad to do so. Sure. That's excellent. So thanks again for coming, Don. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Take care.